Bobby, day one, desert sheep hunt, West Texas. Doesn't get any better than this. No, man. There's hunting, then there's sheep hunting. Now the star in this film is my buddy, Bobby Tice. He is on his quest to fulfill his third Grand Slam, meaning he has harvested all four North American wild sheep species almost three times. Not only is that an incredible accomplishment, but it speaks highly of one's mental and physical strength, not to mention his generosity. You know what I'm talking about all those dollars that go right back to putting wild sheep on the mountain. Before we go any further, let's just make it clear that wild sheep are alive and well today because of sheep hunters like Bobby. We are here in West Texas with the High West Outfitter team for round one. In short, we hunted six hard days. We experienced everything you could ever want on a hunt. Close calls, breakdowns, excitement, crazy weather, and lots of great rams. It's over? Well, we got to shoot a ram up there. And uh, it's kind of been touch and go all week on him, but we decided uh, to let him go till springtime. We'll be back. Terry Stone, who basically, to this day, I, respect him as making me a sheep hunter. He taught me to basically tell, tell the little guy in your head to shut up. We got up the next morning about four o'clock and, and did the stalk on the 10th day and we and I shot the ram at 12. And that was my uh, hunt that, that really made me a, a sheep hunter. Now, fast forward six months, the High West Outfitter team has Bobby back on the mountain looking for the perfect ram. Joining us are Bobby's sheep hunting guides from Canada, Talk about a full house of great hunters. It didn't take long before Jim Breck said, I got a ram and he's a good one. Familiarizing ourselves with their particular area, learning what his friends look like, Jim Breck decided to put him to bed tonight and we'll get on him first thing in the morning. Bobby, what's the plan? Found a really nice sheep. We're gonna go try and get on him. As we started our climb, working our way up to these rams, they were acting like they were leaving the country. They were working their way through a saddle and they were gonna go up and over a rim. Jim Breck said, we gotta do something to get their attention. So he reached in his pack, he pulled out a game bag and he started to twirl it. Instantly, those rams gained focus on the bag, stopped and let us work several hundred yards up closer. We got in position and the film says the rest. Slam ram, baby. Number three. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's why we shoot a Mesa. Yeah, he's a good ring. Real good ring. Sheep don't shrink. <laughs> Well, I just completed my uh, third Grand Slam in Texas here. High West Outfitter is my second sheep with Jim Breck. And uh, it's really special because I got all my Canadian buddies that give me a lot of hell here. <laughs> Congratulations. Thanks. 
Congrats, buddy. It's a beautiful round. Thanks, man. Congrats. Yeah, it's really cool to have these guys here. Thanks for having us. And the High West uh, team. So now we're going to go find some all dads. Heck yeah. First dot Yeah, pretty cool. Couldn't have done it without all these guys' help. Pretty neat experience. So yeah. Rotate him around, Steven. Spot by yeah. this guy. Yeah, we were sitting there on the couch <laughs> watching TV and he's out glassing doing what guys are supposed to be doing. And <laughs> finding rams that are six miles off. Yeah. Somehow these guys set me up on a long, long shot. And it was how far was the shot? 620 to 670. Around. The hold was 620. Yeah, 650 and then out to 675. Just a small war, and now he's laying here dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pretty standard, pretty typical Taylor shootout. <laughs> and there's camp. That's a pretty good spot. Yeah. You know, pretty cool day. Start with the desert sheep and fin finish with an odd out. Yeah, it's a friggin' dandy one. It was an awesome day. Y'all did good. It's an honor to be here with you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Let's Little whittle pleasure. on him. Thanks, everyone. Might not Steve. be able to get rid of us now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Man, it's great to see them boys that can shoot well. Nothing is as tough as an odd ad. That ram took two bullets that would kill just about anything and then got up and ran when we got close. Very few could pull off this third shot. Okay, he's dead now. Sorry boys. Sorry for what? That was that was awesome. Second celebration here. Did you get that? Oh yeah. It's a long ram. Wow, bro. I like him. I love him. He's a good sheep. Long, eh? <laughs> I could see him just laying there when I walked past him. I'm like, geez. I never set out to shoot free grand slams, I didn't. But you start to, you, you meet people and like them when you have a good time. And that's what, to me, it's all about. Well, for what it's worth, it's an honor to be in camp with you. You had said in the beginning of this film, there's, there's hunting and then there's sheep hunting. All of us in this room today are here because you're a sheep hunter. I think those relationships that are made on the mountain, right. what you see on the mountain, what you experience is, is unlike anything else. We start as strangers, we kind of finish as family, and. It's pretty special. I appreciate you, man. All right, y'all, if you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for these mountains. Thank you for the abundance of animals, and thank you for the relationships built around hunting. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. <laughs>